the Colleen Stakes is next, and it's a listed race. And let's take a look at the field. And it's a five furlong listed race for two year olds, and the top one is Choison Blofeld for Thomas Rogers. Coffee and Biscuits, Joshua Sutherland, Eves Dropper Robo, Ryan Costello, Jeans Holy, David Robertson, Intruder, Craig Beckwith, Salomo Stefano for Alex Ince, Scrappy Tuesday, Ryan Costello, The Apostle, Craig Beckwith, Vice Captain Michael Scala, Ferdus Dumani, Paul Fisk, Gail Powers, Alex Cherry, Safa Gemma for Rod McClure making its debut, and Sweets Carlotti for David Hooley is the bottom one. So 13 of them then in this. Think can you miss it? They're on the dirt, they're in the stalls, and away they go. And who's going to be the first one to take a grab of the lead? It's going to be Jeans Holy, I think, but now coming through is Santo Gemma. As so they sorted themselves out, Santo Gemma, vice captain, is also going up there for a look at the lead, and so is the Apostle. So they're the leading three then, vice captain Gail Powers and the Apostle. Then back in fourth is Sweets Carlotti, Safa Gemima is after that one, Coffee and Biscuits and Jeans Holy. And next looking towards the back, Salomo Stefano is the back marker, but it's Gail Powers in the lead from the Apostle and vice captain Gap, big gap back then to Choison, Blofeld and Sweets Carlotti, Jeans Holy, and he's dropper robo, surprising number of big trainers in this for a 0 to 90 but it's the Apostle and Vice Captain who are disputing the lead from Gale Powers in third then comes Schwazon Blofeld up the centre of the track Coffee and Biscuits he's trying to run on the one that just totally got knocked out there was the Graham Clutterbuck horse and there must be something wrong with that one because he's dropped right out to last but it's the Apostle down in the lead as they race inside the front half well, but he's being collared by Schwazon Blofeld Coffee and Biscuits up the centre of the track Schwazon Blofeld Coffee and Biscuits it's close on the line it might just have been Schwazon Blofeld that held on, Coffee and Biscuits was finishing fast, well, a couple of others finishing well as well, the David Robertson horses are still as in quarry, I'm not surprised because something happened to Graham Clutterbuck's horse there it was hampered inside the final furlong and that's why, no that was, no, that was Michael Scarlett's horse, so what's gone on there then let's have a look at this, it's Schwazon Blofeld for Thomas Rogers the winner, very small writing Jeans Holy for David Robertson second, Coffee and Biscuits for Joshua Sutherland was third, Safa Gemma for Rod McClure was fourth, the Apostle for Craig Beckwith was fifth, and it looks to me as though Vice Captain or Michael Scala was running in Graham Clutterbuck's colours, unless I just couldn't see them properly, but that was definitely the one that, that, that got bashed. Or something, because it, what does it say? It says, led early, disputed lead halfway, slightly hampered inside one and a half furlongs out. Well, I think that's a bit of an understatement, because it just stopped like somebody had shot it, didn't it? But there you go. So, Stewart's inquiry didn't change anything, and Schwazon Blofeld, the winner for Thomas Rogers.